So the Galar decks, I decided to wait until the whole decks was revealed. There was a lot of like tidbits of the Galar decks being shown off. Um, but I decided to wait till after the whole thing was revealed and just to see basically who was missing. And unfortunately, hold on, let's play some music. We lost some soldiers. We lost some soldiers in this fray. Scizor, my third favorite Pokemon. Haxorus, my second favorite Pokemon. And unfortunately, Dragonite. These brave soldiers. These brave soldiers. Right here. Oops. Are gone. Thanos. They gone. And I'm so upset. But. With all, come, with all ends, come new beginnings. So. Yeah. Okay. So the, so the, hang on, let's play some more, let's play some more upbeat music. Hang on, where is, there it is. Okay, so this is the new Pokemon, uh, including the Galar forms of uh, all the new Pokemon. So, I'm actually, like, really happy with this dex. Uh, I, was, I was mainly looking forward to the leaks to see if that uh, fixed any of the problems. Because they were showing off some of the worst designs in the series, in my opinion, and really not showing what people needed to see. This was the shit people needed to see. Thankfully... We get to see it, and I'm really happy for that. Because now we got some, we got some really good designs. I was really going, man, this new Pokemon designer really didn't do a good job. And but I'll hold my opinion until the Galardex gets fully revealed, and thankfully it got revealed, and I'm really happy about that. Sipping some coffee, I'm a little tired tonight from work, so <sighs> let's dissect the new Pokemon. So only, I think the Pokedex is only, I think. What? Oh. Hang on, let me turn this up a little bit. It might be too low, the music, I mean. There we go. Turn it up a little bit. I, I just don't know what else to say, other than, like, th these designs are actually, like, some of the best. Since Gen 5, I would say, this is overall some of the best Pokemon designs I've seen since Gen 5. And Gen 5 had crazy shit like Bisharp, Haxorus, um, Volcarona, Hydreigon... Uh, God, there are a few other really damn good designs. Uh, Escal Escavalier. Like, some really solid Western-looking designs. And we kind of go back to that, finally. With more Western-looking Pokemon. I'm gonna say, what are my favorite Pokemon? Definitely. Oh, I can't... Can I not see further in? There we go. Cursula has definitely been uh, my favorite Galar form. I was really surprised when I saw it, and hearing that the lore of it was uh, Dead Coral this time around, and I was like, that's really cool. And then they nailed the evolution. I didn't even think it would get one. I thought it would just be this. And then once they show up the evolution, dude, I lost my fucking mind. I'm like, this thing looks way too cool not to use. Automatic spawn on my team. Like, this is an automatic, and it's a ghost type, and I love ghost types. My second favorite typing in the game. Really, really damn excited that, uh... We got a dope ass Galar form that I'm looking forward to. Because I'm not a big fan of Mantan. Coffee Grigus looks really cool. What's his name? Oh, it's a brain. It's not even. Holy shit. I just realized. It's not even a. Holy shit. It's it's not even Coffee Grigus. It's a brand new Pokemon for Yan Mask. That's crazy. Hang on, let me find some more songs that could be pretty good. Uh, eh, I saw something that looked really good. Here we go. But yeah. Oh my god, it was. Whew. Cursor looks so fucking cool. I was thinking about using Surfetch, but honestly, Cursor is way too cool not to use on my team. 
Oh, I haven't mentioned what my starter choice is going to be. So, I decided I'm going to stick with Square Bunny. Um, I don't hate Cinderace enough. I know Riboloom is the coolest looking one of the three, but his typing just being pure grass really kills him. I should probably talk about the stars, honestly. So, I think, personally, Riboloom got the f most fucked. He has the best design, but the problem with Riboloom is that he's a pure grass and thus has a shit ton of weaknesses. So if you want to utilize this Pokemon correctly, you're going to need to build a fucking team around this guy. Like, legit. He has seven fucking weaknesses. You need to account for every single goddamn weakness. This Pokemon is going to have a real tough time in competitive play. I don't know if he'll be the most popular starter, but he's definitely not going to be the most popular competitively. Because he's not very good. Um, being this of a bulky mon with this many weaknesses is not a good thing. Grass is a terrible defensive typing, and I do not foresee this Pokemon really performing at all very well. Now, will he be the most used? Probably. His theme is pretty dope. I like the drama idea. I think his hair is really cool, but... I'm being 100% honest here. His typing being just grass really kills him. As a defensive Pokemon. Because grass is a terrible defensive type. Same with ice. Ice and grass are like the two... And bug are the three worst typings you can give a defensive Pokemon. And it kind of kills Ribloom as a bulky mon. Cinderace um, is also in an unfortunate spot. It's just fire, not firefighting. This thing's supposed to be replacing it in Ape in terms of like a really solid, like scarfed, fast mon that's going to be able to dish out decent damage with like a choice ban or a choice scarf. I mean, he'll probably be strong. He'll probably be fast enough to have a choice ban and be fine. Which could help him, but honestly, his coverage is going to be really weak just because he doesn't have a secondary typing. Uh, to maximize his late game cleanup and scouting. But if he comes with U-turn, he'll be a little better. I'm not going to say he's going to be amazing because of it. But he'll just he'll just be okay, I guess, honestly. In Inteleon, I think he's the worst looking. I, I can't. <laughs> he's so fucking stupid looking. <laughs> just stupid. <laughs> Poor Sobble fans, man. Poor Sobble fans. They got fucked this gen. They got fucked in the ass with their water starter. He looks awful, but honestly, he's probably going to be the best one. Water types have always been very good throughout Pokemon's lifespan. You have access to Scald. You have access to a few other good utilities. And here's the thing. I think he's going to end up a little bit like Empoleon, where he's going to just be really strong special attack-wise. He's going to have a lot of special attack. And having access to Skull is just going to make him a really powerful Pokemon, honestly. Now, the problem is, I don't know if he's going to be very bulky. He's probably going to be the most balanced defensively of the three. But he's definitely going to have a shit ton of special attack. Because, you know, most nerds are, are very, very magical. They, they have a lot of magic in their attacks. So, I think, um... I, I think it could work in his favor. If, uh... He has really high special attack. And, I don't know. He, he has to be really bulky in order to, like, sell a bulky water which Milotic is in this gen so Inteleon's gonna be a hard sell for most water fans for me personally I'm just gonna stick with Milotic my favorite water type is still here I have no reason to use this damn thing but I, I guarantee you Sabo fans who are possibly screaming that their Pokemon doesn't look the best trust me you'll find you'll probably find him on somebody's team one day and him doing really well but we don't know these Pokemon stats yet but I can already kind of tell that Ribloom's just going to be a bulky mon who's going to be completely fucking useless. Uh, Cinderace is going to be basically a U-Turner who might be able to help in late game cleanup if he has good enough coverage moves. And, and Talion has a really interesting spot. He could be bulky enough to where he could be a substantial bulky water. Though again, my Lowe's in his gen, so he has some really damn good competition to fight with. Uh, and again, my the fact that my look's gonna be amazing this generation because there's not many bulky waters that it looks like it's gonna compete with is gonna make my look fucking OU, and that makes me really excited. Yes, Dragonite is no longer in the game. That makes me very sad. Yes, Scissor's gone. Yes, Haxorus is gone. But honestly, my Lodic can start rocking and rolling again because this like. 
there's not going to be very many Pokemon like Milotic in terms of a bulky water. Her utility is just so fucking good. She can still compete in OU with Gen 7 to the very day and still do surprisingly well. She has way too many good moves and way too many good support moves to like just be abandoned, but we'll see where Inteleon goes. I still think he could be okay. So that's how I feel about all starters. Uh, I want to talk about Corviknight. Fucking cool. I love Corviknight. I like how he's a fully evolved Pokemon. And that was the first thing to show up. They actually did not show off the uh, little forms. So these little forms are new, which is weird. You would think they'd want to show these off first, but they really want us to sell us on a really dope looking bird. And I love Corviknight. And honestly, I think he has the best Gigantamax form out of all of them. Look at that shit. I am in love. Look at those tiny little red birds. I love it. This is my Gigantamax Pokemon because I am using Corviknight. And this is my Gigantamax Pokemon I will be using. It's way too cool not to use. And I fucking love it. It's just way too cool. Alright, what else do we got? Uh, Oh, yeah, yeah, yeah. Okay, so the pseudo-legendaries this gen are really weak. In terms of how I don't like him. So, we're not going to talk about the new one just yet. I'll talk about him in a minute. Because I got some real nice things to say about Dragapult over here. So, the other pseudo-legendaries that are showing up this gen that are not just from Gen 8 are Tyranitar. Um, uh, Gudra. I fucking hate Gudra. Ugh, Kamo oh Oh my god, it's Kamo oh again. I... Kamo might be able to shine this gen because he doesn't have as much competition with like Garchomp or Dragonite, so he might do okay. And of course, uh, there's uh, God, what's the other one? Hydreigon. Hydreigon and Tyranitar can kind of pick up the slack. Honestly, those are some really damn solid mons that can really just pick up the other two slack. Because honestly, Kamo well, Kamo might be able to do okay as gen. They could fix Kamo -O this gen. They could make him solid. I'm not going to say amazing, but they can make him solid. But I'm not making no promises. Alright. <laughs> I want to actually hang on. Uh, hang on, let me take a look at Galarian Ponyta. I'm curious about... Okay, no, it's Psychic. Okay, for some reason I thought it was Fire still. I'm like... Okay, back to this shit. Wait, these things are fine type? Cool, I like fine types. Anyways... <laughs> Oh, hold on. I gotta let my friend know there was a dragon steel type. He was wondering about that. So I'm gonna let him know real quick. So the legend so the pseudo legendary lamp's actually pretty solid. Especially with this guy right here, Dragapult. This guy's on my fucking team. You want to know why? One, he looks really cool. Two, he looks like Galaxy Tomahawk from Yu-Gi-Oh, which I think is really funny. And I'm going to just tell you, my two favorite typings are Dragon and Ghost. He's Dragon and Ghost. We haven't had a Dragon and Ghost since fucking Garantina. This is, this is fucking a big fucking deal for me. This... Design, the design of the Pokemon already sold me. The fact that he's dragon and fucking ghost really got my nipples hard and my penis hard. I got fucking excited. And he looks, and that's a very good offensive typing for him. Especially if they give out new special attacks for ghost types and dragon types. This guy could be fucking strong. He's a pseudo legendary, so it should be good. Uh, I like Flapple a lot. I don't know about Appleton, because again... It's a tanky Pokemon that's a grass, and I already talked about Ribbloom's problems. Ice for days is just going to fuck this thing in the ass, but Flapple looks really cool. I like Flapple a lot, and I was considering Flapple till I saw Dragapult, and now that I see that it's a part ghost type, I immediately am melting and like how happy I am. I just noticed it like a few minutes ago. I'm definitely using, like, so let's talk about the team real quick. So, yep. So I'm definitely using Cinderace, I'm definitely using Corviknight, I'm definitely using Cursula, and I'm definitely using Dragapult. Now, who are the other two Pokemon that I will be using this gen? I want to say I want to use... 
I definitely want to use Colossus. I love it. It looks really cool. But honestly, Cinderace is going to destroy me defensively. So if I end up picking up uh, the other version, I don't know if I'm picking up Sword or Shield yet. I need to figure out if which ones are uh, tight are are exclusive to Sword or Shield. I need to see if Cursula is exclusive because it could be that possibly like Galarian Mister Mime might be a Sword exclusive while Cursula is a Shield exclusive. So that could happen. So if that's the case, I'll pick up Shield. Um. That that would be that would be the reason I pick up shield honestly, because this is shield, this is sword. Actually, this might be the opposite. So this might be sword. This might be shield. Well, who knows? We'll find out, right? We'll we'll find out. We don't know that yet, which I find really odd. It may not be. These two might be one of the only few like sword and shield differences, or maybe these two are gonna be sword and shield differences. I don't know. But if I do pick up the other version. Um, that second team will definitely have Colossus on it, and I definitely want to use this thing competitively because I've been really wanting a rock and fire type, and he's got some really interesting potential to be an offensive powerhouse. But he's a rock type, so I don't know how to feel about that, but he'll be a decent rock setter, honestly. And he's got a Gigamax form, too. Yep, there he is, and he looks really fucking cool. He looks... God damn dope. And again, really excited for some of these Pokemon. Frostmoth looks fucking great. I should talk about the other ones. Tox, or what is the name? Toxtricity. Dude, this guy's so cool. And apparently he's going to have another farm when he's like down on electricity. That might be more like an ability or potentially like when he's low on health. He'll just visually look different. So I didn't like this thing. But now that I see its evolution, yeah, it looks fucking cool. It looks fucking dope. This Fire Centipede, yeah. Now that I see this thing's a fighting type, I like it too. This thing's cool. I, I like... I, I didn't know how to feel about it, but it does look cool enough because, again, it's fire. It's Dragon Steel, which is, a again, Steel, I think, is my third favorite typing. No, it's Bugs, my third favorite typing. My fourth favorite typing is uh, Steel. So that works out. Yay, Copper Jaws, a Steel type. Good. I, I was kind of wishing it would be Steel Ground, though, just so it could have Earthquake. <laughs> I just want everything to be good with Earthquake in this gen. It has a lot less Ground types than I thought there would be. I think there's only, like, a handful of Ground types. This could be good for Flying on this gen. I should talk about Flying on. Because Flying on... Where is he? He's in, He should be one of the light greens. Yeah, by the way, only 400 Pokemon. So all these white squares are all the Pokemon that are not going to be... Uh, in Sword and Shield. Now, Masuda has said that he is not potentially making these Pokemon go away forever. They could potentially come back in future games, some of them. Okay, where's Flygon? Should be in this gen somewhere. There he is. So, Flygon. Hey, let me grab a picture of Flygon real quick. It's just so Flygon, unfortunately, uh, isn't a very good Pokemon, but he has the potential to shine this gen because his competition doesn't seem to be existing in this case. I'm not seeing very many ground types, nor am I seeing like anything that could potentially like out damage him. Uh, this Pokemon could potentially be a ground type. I think there's only. Oh god, how many ground types are in here? I think it's just the snake, in all honesty. Yeah, where's that fucking snake at? Where is he? There's a snake Pokemon. There he is. So you see, that seems to be the only ground type that's actually, like... Oh no, here. This one's also ground. The uh, glaring and mask. So, there's only two ground types in the game. Uh... At least for the new Pokemon. I don't know how many ground Pokemon are returning. I'm, uh, there's okay, Rhydon's returning. Uh, we don't probably Rhyperior is returning too. Um, oh yeah, uh, Espeon's returning, which is happy. I'm really happy Espeon and Umbreon are returning. My dynamic duo are still uh, still in the game. Very happy about that. Unfortunately, my three dragons do have to be disbanded. Though Dragapult and Flygon are still here, so who knows? Maybe I'll pick up one of the other dragons and make a new team. Um, 
Maybe I'll pick up Hydreigon or something. So, you know, let's get a closer look here. Uh, let's see here. Onyx is back, so probably Steelix is back too. Hey, Pout on. I'm just checking all the ground types to see if there's a huge competition. <gasps> Bishop's coming back? Oh, shit! Oh, that's a big one. Ooh, that's a huge one right there. That's fucking large. That's a large thing for me. Wow. Super glad he's coming back. <gasps> Never mind. I was wrong. Haxorus is coming back. Oh my god. Wow. Not rest in peace, Haxorus. Okay. Uh, change of plans potentially for the team. Breaking fucking news. Just realize Haxorus is still in the game. That's insane. Holy shit. Okay, this isn't as bad as I thought. Oh my god, hang on, hang on. Let me <laughs> let me let my friend know. Oh, okay, few. Uh, I'm pretty sure scissors also gone. Chronon's back! Oh, shoot! I don't know all the Pokemon that made it back in, so... I'm kind of getting surprised as I go on. Oh, Hitmon, Lean, Hitmon, Chan are back. That's cool. Okay. Yeah, this is my first time looking at this, so I actually didn't get a good look at this before. Making sure. Okay, yeah, Scyther is in the white, which means Scizor is not. So Scizor's gone, but hey. Hey, we can make... A hey, guess what? We just made a new... That's pretty cool. Yeah, Duramaka is in the game, yeah. He's uh, Galarian uh, Duramaka. Oh, shit. Yeah, he um, should be down here. Yep, there he is. So, yeah, you get Galarian Duramanta and this fucking cauliflower looking motherfucker. A cauliflower with goddamn arms and lips and a goddamn fro. I don't know how to feel about this thing. This thing ugly as hell. Looking like the abominable snowman ready to come and rape me. Alright, I'm kind of scared of him. I'm kind of intimidated. And yes, you can use regular Duramaka if I remember correctly. I've actually heard you you, you can bring back that. So if you... Yeah, that is pretty badass. You do get to bring back the original Duramaka. So you do get to use regular Dermanitan. Which is pretty cool. Yep. So Garchomp's out, so that's good for Flygon. Uh, that helps him a lot. A lot of bulky Pokemon, a lot of bulky grounds. Oh, I'm so happy Haxorus is back. <laughs> Yay! Not the not all the three dragons have been disbanded. I just replaced Dragonite with Dragapult. Perfect. The three the three dragons are still fucking Gudra. Fucking Gudra. Why are you here? I hate you. I hate you, Gudra. You're such an ugly worst dragon design ever. What? Noivern's back too? That's kinda cool. Uh, do 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 do. Drampa's back. Why? Why? Why is Drampa back? Why is Drampa back? Come on! Why is Drampa back? Galissapod's back too. Ugh. Silvali's also back. Okay. Ugh. A lot of Gen Seven Pokemon I really did not want to see coming back. Cause Beware's back. Thick Girl is back. Mimikyu's back. I guess that's no surprise. Okay. What are dope Gen 5 po So all the cool Gen 5 Pokemon came back, honestly, except for Volcarona. Rip. Rip Volcarona. Damn. Did Zubat make it in? Uh, probably not. There he is. Nope, Zubat is gone. Zubat's no longer in the game. I don't even know if a new Bat Pokemon showed up. Let's check early game bonds. Uh, I think your only flying type choice for a good amount in the game is actually going to be, uh... Corviknight, which honestly is not a bad one. He looks fucking cool. I love Corviknight. He was my favorite one when they first showed off the game, so. Yeah, Zubat's gone. So no more Crobat nonsense. Let's see here. Uh, I don't like Galarian Rapidash. I think he looks very ugly. I uh, should be... Yeah, I don't like Galarian Rapidash. He look, he. I wish he had wings and looked prettier. Honestly, I was kind of looking for something a little bit more flamboyant. Hang on, I realize I need to play some more music. Uh, 
Here we go. So yeah. Uh let's let's take a look. Holy shit, there's a lot more cool stuff in here than I thought. Um uh, really? Sea King's back? A hey, Lantern's back. That's a good bulky water. Okay, so my Lord might have a little bit of competition. Lapras is back too. Vaporum's back. Wailord's back. Ooh, a lot of water types are back. I'm glad Crawdon's back. That's cool. Crawdon's dope. Hmm. Toxapex is back. Oh my god, my Lord's got a lot of competition. Okay, my Lordic. You got a lot to. Ooh, Glade's back. Okay, okay. There's there's some dope shit in here. I can't, oh, fucking Kamo. Okay, Kamo might end up being good this gen. Again, less dragon competition kind of helps him, but a Dragapult's amazing, which he potentially is, because that's a very offensive typing being dragon and ghost. Yeah, <laughs> yeah, it does. Yeah, it does. It's very ugly, and I was hoping it would look prettier. But I wish it had like Pegasus wings and stuff, like the leak said, but yeah, wasn't meant to be, I guess. It looks like fucking candy. It looks like uh, cotton candy, that's what it looks like. I don't know how to feel about Mr. Rhyme. I'm kind of terrified he's gonna rape my bum bum. <laughs> I'm, a, I'm afraid a lot of things are gonna rape my bum bum. A lot of mustaches and a lot of top hats. Getting some, getting some Yarnum vibes. Afraid, afraid some blood crazed fiend's gonna shove their claws up my ass or something. Really terrified. Huh. <sighs> well, oh, Escadrille's back. Oh shit. Okay, never mind. No, rip, rip, flying on Escadrille's back. Damn, damn it. I was really trying to sell flying on this gen. Damn it. <laughs> I was really trying to sell flying on. I was really trying to sell him to people. Oh no! He had the potential, but Excadrill coming back killed it. Shit, that was the one Pokemon I really didn't want coming back. Because Lando T looks like. I don't think Lando T's coming back. And Garchomp, which was his main competition. Uh, a lot of fast ground types are gone, though, but Excadrill's back. Shit. Maybe he'll lose Sandstream and he'll be shit. Ooh, Munchlax is back. Cool, that means Snorlax is back. That's cool. Hang on, I'm curious what Kanto Pokemon are actually back. Okay, everything. Yep, that's fine. Yeah, that's to be expected. Derms! Rest in peace, Dragonite. Rest in peace, Scizor. You guys deserve your fucking rest for all the games I've had to make you guys go through. Damn, I'm so sad. I'm so sad. Gengar's back? Fuck me, really? <laughs> Come on, I, I I'm trying to sell these fucking Pokemon to people here, and there's fucking good-ass Pokemon returning. Shit. I'm trying to sell fucking good Pokemon here. Frostlass is coming back? No way! Oh my god, my favorite ice type's coming back. Okay. Suicide leads for days. So is Weavile? My god. Okay, there's some... There's, okay, I was sad, no longer am I sad, wait, is Zangu's coming back, I need to see, is my favorite normal type gonna come back? I should be... I'm not seeing him, he probably isn't coming back, wait, if I just keep an eye out for... Uh, fuck, I can't find him. Hang on, yeah. Sal yeah, Salomon's gone. The only pseudo legendaries that are coming back are Tyranitar, uh, Hydreigon, or Hydreigon, however you call it. Potato, potato, tomato, tomato. Um, Gudra, and I believe the last one's Kamo. -O. Yeah. I mean, Tyranitar and Hydreigon are pretty cool. The other two, I'm not. No. Uh, Gudra, no, I, I don't accept the fact Gudra made it back in. Fuck that thing. I, I fucking hate Gudra. He's so stupid looking. The hell were they thinking bringing that ugly bastard back in? Come on, Masuda, really? Why is Vespiquin back? Come on. Hey, Cherim's back, though. I like Cherim. So is Lucario. That's cool. Uh, 
Mammoth Swain's back. Oh shit, Rocks for Days. Rocks for Days is back. Scrafty's back. Yeah, Coffee Greek is, I guess, would come back. It's Cavalier's back too. Oh my god. Gen 5's best are still here. They they gave Gen 5 so much love. I'm 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 actually really happy with the Gen 5s. The Gen 5s is really strong here. All the good designs from Gen 5 are back, excluding Volcarona. That's like the only one that didn't make it back. Which is only a slight shame, honestly. But a lot of Gen 7 Pokemon made it back in too. I don't I don't like you know, Gen 7 is yikes for me. <laughs> A lot of Gen 7 Pokemon are just not very good. I mean, Glissopod's back. That's okay, I guess. It's not very good. Yeah, Mudsdale's back. He's also not very good. Hang on. Where is Zangoose? Fuck! There he is. Damn it! No Zangoose. Rip. Rip, 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 rip. Starmie's gone too. Man. That's rough. That's hell rough. At least... At least we still got a really fast, uh, hard hitting motherfucker right here in the name of Cronaut. My, 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 my girl Milotic is here. She's here to slay everyone with how bulky water out of 10 she is. Alright. And again, I was trying to sell her, and then all of a sudden, fuck, all these bulky waters are coming back that are actually good. I thought, okay, Swampert's gone, and Toxapex is gone. Milotic's gonna be queen this, this gen, nah. Toxapex is fucking right there. <coughs> I'm so... <sighs> I'm not gonna... Uh, is it gonna be breaking? Probably not, honestly. I don't know if it's gonna be breaking. It definitely won't be as busted and people will have to change their strats, but there's still some legit powerful-ass Pokemon that are making it back in that are gonna be very good. So fly so nothing changes for Flygon. That really sucks. Again, I really want this Pokemon to be super fucking good. All they have to do is buff his attack and speed and he can actually be good. Alright. His typing is amazing. He's got a damn good ability and he's got an amazing move pool. I've been used I've been trying to sell this thing for years to people. But you just look at his stats and you're like, What a fucking loser. What a fucking loser. This thing is so bad. And it's because of its fucking stats, but the problem is Game Freak won't give any any new st any like stat addition that's above ten. One ten attack and one ten speed are not enough to help this Pokemon get better, especially with X especially with fucking Excadrill coming back. It that just killed it. Damn, that just fucking killed it. Bring it with Dragon Scissor Photo. It doesn't need to be there anymore. Ah, uh, okay. Who else is back? They haven't noticed yet. Drape me on. Ooh, Toxicroak's back. That's cool. Conkle, Conkle Donkle Durr is back. He's donkling everything again. Man, that's so fucking cool. That's Cavalier is back. That's badass. I'm so glad Haxorus is back. I thought he was gone. I thought his ass was rest in peace. I thought his ass was gone. No, he's still here. He's still here with his red ass sights and his red ass claws. They all still here. They still here. He's still here, and I'm very happy that that and Bisharp. The Je my 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 favorite Gen Five Pokemon are still here. Let's fucking go. That's that's fucking powerful. Okay, this this game. This, I I've been sold now. I think I might buy Sword and Shield now. I'm I'm still was on the fence for like, even now. Yeah, him on top is here too. Cool, cool, cool. That that's a good one. Yeah, this returning lineup is actually fairly strong. Honestly, it makes a lot of these Galarian Pokemon not look very good because I don't think a lot of them are. There's some fast looking motherfuckers. I hope Dragapult's really fast. Again, very offensive typing. Dragon Ghost. I love Dragon Ghost. I've been waiting for a new dragon to have to have this typing. Ever since Garatina had it, I'm like, man, I really want a non legendary to have it. And I'm really glad that uh, Dragon Dragapult here has it. That's fucking great. Man, I, I just don't have room to put Colossal on my team. Because, again, I'm using Score Bunny as my starter still. I, I like Cinderace enough. I don't... Uh, it's tough. It's tough. Because I got to use my Lodic. I have to use my Lodic this gen. 
Melodic is looking strong. She's still. I think she'll still be queen, honestly. As like the really solid bulky water, she she still has the potential to be strong. But we'll see. We'll see if he if she stays strong. Internus. Oh, this thing's also. Wait, what the fuck is that? Is that poison? Poison dragon. That's weird. It is a really cool looking Pokemon though. Looking like a goddamn Kingdom Hearts boss out here. Oh, oh, you want to look at it here? Uh. Uh, go to here. And then just do that. And just save your image. It's literally the first thing you see on, on uh, I think it's on Polygon, unfortunately. So you will have to go to Shitty Ass Polygon to get it, but they have that and uh, the list of the returning Pokemon and the not returning Pokemon. So they have everything you need, honestly. God damn it, Flygon. Disappointing yet again. They could still give him stat buffs, though. They still could give him stat buffs. That honestly would make me very happy. Uh, I haven't decided on Surfetched. Because now, ever since all these new Pokemon started coming out, I'm like, Surfetch? Who the fuck is Surfetch? Who the fuck is that? Who is that? Who? I have no idea who that is anymore. I have no idea who that is anymore. Who is that? I like the centipede though. He looks really fucking cool. Bug and fire. Hey, could be a decent replacement for Volcarona. It looks like a physical attacker though, but who knows? Maybe it's a special attacker. I don't know if that's supposed to be a mustache or it's fucking mouth. Either way, it's horrifying. Frostmoth is very pretty. I gotta keep admiring Frostmoth. It looks really pretty. Not a fan of the penguin Pokemon. Like, at all. I don't like it at all. I think it looks really ugly. Eh, I don't like it. It looks really lazy too. Honestly, one of the only few designs that I'm really like not digging at all. Wait a minute. Is that Pukamuku? No, it's a sea ur electric sea urchin. That's weird. Oh, I forgot about um, Grimmsnarl. Okay, so I didn't like Imp, Imp, Dimp. <laughs> Imp Dimple over here. I didn't like this son of a bitch. I thought he looked ugly and stupid. And then I see this, and I'm like, eh, he still looks kind of dumb. And then I see this, and I went, whoa, okay there, buddy. Honestly, that's been the kind of thing this whole gen. It's like, ha, that, that thing looks kind of stupid. Yeah, you still look dumb. And then you see it's Final Evil, and you're like, oh, shit. But uh, definitely my favorite so far has been definitely Cursula. Oh, my God, I love this thing. It's so, it's so fucking horrifying. Like, I'm terrified to look at it. Ah, oh, Electric is your favorite type. Yeah, Electric has been very good. It's It's been, like, a very solid typing throughout Pokemon, so... I, 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 I legit believe that, but... Dragon all the way. I'm a dragon guy. I gotta be dragon all the way. But, I, but I'm also a ghost guy, too, so I fucking love Cursal. He looks so creepy! And the lore of it is that it's dead Coral, and what happens to Coral when it dies, which is fucking cool! I love it. I love it. Now that's some art, baby. That's art. You want to know what art is? It's right there. <laughs> this depressed-looking motherfucker. That's turning into a fucking creepy ghost. You can't see it very well, but there's actual, like, eyes on this fucking creature. And I don't mean the actual Corsola head. There's actually, like, eyes, I think, right here. And it's fucking scary-looking. Like, I'm terrified to even look at it, and I'm just going, man, I love this Pokemon. And he's Ghost. Which is really dope. I'm honestly really weak to dark, so I have to really think about it, because what? Cinderace, Corviknight, Dragapult, and Corsola. Who else should I use? My Lodix will definitely shoe in, but I definitely want to use Espeon, but I'm already really weak to dark. And Ghost. So honestly, Espeon would not help this team. <coughs> I need a... I need a dark and a ghost resist. This this Pokemon might be pretty cool for it. Uh, what are the fighting types in here? 
I might even go with Bisharp, honestly. I actually might just go Bisharp. Yeah, Bisharp might honestly like be a solid choice here, now that I'm thinking about it. Because he's back. Might as well use him. Oh, oh my god, I realize Haxorus is back too. Shit. I, I, I forgot. I have to bring Haxorus into the game now too. Shit. Well, that changes fucking everything again. Unless I can't get him until like really late in the game. Because I have no idea when you can get a lot of these Pokemon on him. I have no fucking clue. So, that could also change. <laughs> oh, man. That's crazy. Shit, Bisharp would really fit this team, honestly, because I need something, because I got a lot of attackers, I don't know if Kersal is going to be defensive, because Ghost is not the best defensive typing, it has a lot of, I mean, it does take poison very well, which looks like a dangerous typing this gen, <laughs> it looks like an extremely dangerous typing, uh, hold on, let's pull out some more music. Uh, oh, this is going to be loud in a minute, because I know, I know I just fucked up on the audio, because that song was so good, and need to turn it up. This is going to be loud. Uh, there we go. That'll do. Uh, I don't, I don't like the Barracuda Pokemon, and I don't like the bird. Nah, these two, these, these guys ain't it. Well, the Barracuda doesn't look terrible, but... I'm not a big fan of the bird. Its ability is pretty cool, though. The fact that it's doing a lot of damage like that. Okay, so it's psychic and bug. So this thing potentially could be a special attacker. That's not bad, either. Man, this team is so tough. Too bad I don't have Photoshop, so I can just, like, take all these images. And just, like, build a team and have a whole thing with it. So I definitely want to... Definitely want to take the Cinderace. Yeah, I'm gonna I'm, I'm gonna stick with Scorbunny as my starter. I definitely want Corbin on my team because this is gonna be my Gigantamaxing Pokemon for sure. Uh, which one is uh, Zacian? I forget which one Zacian is. Is that supposed to be the Fox? No, that's not gonna be the Fox. Uh, hang on. Uh... Oh, okay, yeah. Oh, uh, yeah, the abilities have already been leaked, so the thing with uh, this Pokemon, uh, Zacian, is that he's supposed to be a Pokemon that's supposed to battle over time and gain his armor or shield, depending on the uh, version you have. So if you have sword, if you battle with him enough, he'll get his sword, and if you battle with him enough in shield, he'll gain his shield. And this is how he normally looks, I believe, without his sword or his shield. Like I said, I want to go sword because of Sif. <laughs> As well, because I really like Sif, one of my favorite Dark Souls bosses, so I saw that fucking dog. Oh no, Zakin is the store Pokemon. Okay, so it. Oh, oh, okay, so, so they're just. Okay, so depending on Sword or Shield, it's the d two different types. Okay, they've made it try to seem like that this is what he normally looks like, and that this is what he looks like after he gains his. Uh, after he gains enough power. Okay, so that's been... Okay, so that's how it works. So this is just... If you have sword, this is what he looks like. If you have this, it's a shield. Okay, that makes sense. God, what is what is up with Eternus over here? Looking like a fucking Kingdom Hearts final boss out here. Looking like a secret boss from Kingdom Hearts 3. Looking like Remind's DLC. <laughs> uh, looking crazy. You looking fucking crazy. Yeah, I think out of all these Pokemon, Grimmsnarl can honestly fit this team really well, too, over Bisharp. Honestly, I might use Grimmsnarl. I want to use some of these new Pokemon. Fuck it. I, I think I'm going to go with Grimmsnarl as my other Pokemon for, like, supporting my my uh, ghost types. Because I fucking did the same thing last gen in Gen 7 where I fucking had, I think my team was Decidueye, Metagross, uh, <laughs> Jellicent... Oh my god, uh, Tyranitar, I think there was another Pokemon that was weak to Ghost Dark too. I think it was another Ghost type, I had so many Ghost types in Gen 7. And I'm doing the same fucking thing again, so now I have to build for this, because I think it's, yeah, Grimmsnarl's Dark and Fairy, that's a pretty solid typing. So I think I'm going to go with Grimmsnarl, honestly. 
I wanted to go with Bisharp, but I'm like, yeah, we can just we can just go with Grimmsnarl. But now I have to find out where to put Haxorus on this team because, yeah. Honestly, for like base game, I might not even go for my loaded because my loaded has to be. No, you can find my loads in the wild. Actually, yeah, I think I remember them saying, yeah, you can find evolutions of Pokemon in the wild, which is interesting. I wouldn't say I recommend that if you want to play online. You definitely want to build a Pokemon from scratch. Um, maybe they'll make my Lodic easier to evolve because you have to fucking trade with a, a Prism Scale instead of Max Beauty, which is a pain in the ass because I don't... I think those are like a 1% chance to drop in like fishing for Gen 7, which sucked ass. Or at least that's... I, I think that's how it worked to get multiple Prism Scales. That shit fucking sucked. And there's like two builds I want to do for my Lodic. There's one for... <clears throat> there's one with Haze and one with Miracle, depending on what I feel like that day. So there's... There's some fucking shit with that. But yeah, now I have to figure out where to put Haxorus on this team. Shit. I'm definitely using... Well, I who knows? I might drop my starter. This wouldn't be the first time I dropped my starter because I, I already, I think I already said this. I dropped my starter in Gen Five. There's too many cool Pokemon in Gen Five, and the starters in Gen Five are fucking awful. I got, I like halfway through the game, I think I dropped Snivy because <laughs> there were too many cooler Pokemon than it coming up, and I'm like, nah, you out, <laughs> you out, motherfucker. I think my final team for Gen 5 ended up being uh, Zangoose, Haxorus, Volcarona, uh, Flygon, Bisharp. I, uh, I'll have to look. Oh shit, where is it? I don't remember. I don't remember my last Pokemon. Maybe it was it was something. It was not my starter. That's for sure. I dropped his ass. Dropped him out of that fucking team. He was gone, real quick, <laughs> real quick. Like, damn, poor Flygon, man. I thought he was able to shine this gen. I thought he was gonna be a good, a good ground type this gen, and then Game Freak decided to bring back fucking Escadrill. I thought this okay. So, my theory was dead. I thought they were going to get rid of all the fast Pokemon and make everything bulky and slow. But then they bring back Pokemon like fucking Escadrill. But they get rid of his ability, which is Sand Rush. If they get rid of Sand Rush on him, maybe Flygon still has a shot. But they have to buff his stats, too. <laughs> oh, man. Hang on, I'm texting my friend because I'm letting him know. That hack just got in. He knows how sad I was today about thinking that he was gone with Scizor and Dragonite. Oh man, so many soul returning Pokemon. Uh, there's some fucking good ones in here. <laughs> Ludicolo's back. <laughs> That's pretty funny. Uh, what other big deal Pokemon made back in? Hang on. I just want to let know of all the big, big deal ones. Hang on. 
I need. How does this build? Is it X good drill? Okay, yeah, it is X good drill. Looks like uh, God, where is he? Uh, it looks like Duskenhorn's coming back too. That's pretty cool. Uh, wait, where is uh Electabuzz? Let me see if he made it back in. Damn, no Electivire. Shit. Man. There's some good ass. Oh, Shadinja's back? Why? <laughs> why? Why Perleon's back? What the fuck? Ew, why Seismitoad? I guess because Swampert's gone, he's actually going to be okay now. Okay, Diggersby is back. Shit, another fucking ground type. It's actually good. Apologue's back. Oh, yeah, we already knew Apologue's back. Really? Really? The most disappointing Pokemon in Gen 7 for me is back. Damn. Actually, no, that was Kamo'o. The second most. Disappointing Pokemon in Gen 7 is back. Oh boy. <laughs> Wait, what the fuck? Sudowoodoo is back? That's weird. That's a that's gotta be a weird one for me. There's some weird ass what the fuck? The cactus came back too? Why? <laughs> some weird ass fucking Pokemon came back. So many weird ass fucking Pokemon came back. That's so weird. Oh man, Heliosk is back. Hey, that's a good electric to bring back. Dry skin. That's not half bad. At least Rhyperior is back. That's kind of dope. Togekiss is back too. Oof. It's a soul. That's an okay fairy type. Not great. He's got a lot of competition in this gen, so he probably won't stand out too much. Of course, Raichu has to be back. Okay, so. So. There's no Galarian coughing. It's just regular uh, coughing. So Weezing is the only Galarian, funnily enough. So there's no Galarian coughing. Oh, yeah. Uh, Farfetch is also Galarian this time as well. It's not regular Farfetch. I thought it would be. So it also got a Galarian form. Wish they would have told us that, but they didn't. Gloister's back, so that's interesting. That could That's an old school... We're not old school. Like that's some Gen Six strats you can use with Cloyster still. Uh, shell Smash, smell Shell Smash, Smell Smash, uh, Shell Smash, Icicle Spear has been pretty good. That's still a, an old. Yeah, of course Kingler has to be back because he got a Gigantamax form. Stanler's back. That's a weird one. Torkoal's back. Why? But why? Hey, Manetric's back. That's an electric type I can run. What the fuck were these two back? You two are useless. Get the fuck. Wait, no, I already saw these two in the decks earlier. Never mind. Nah, I still don't like them. I'm so happy Charon's back, though. Gastrodon's back? What? Oh my god. Hang on. My friend has to know about this. Gigalith is back. That's good. Why Unpheasant? Really? You bring back Unpheasant, but not Star Raptor. Oh boy. Yeah, my friend's back. My my friend is happy about Gastrodon though. He really was hoping Gastrodon would make it in. He only got his wish. I mean. I'm not mad at this, honestly. I was pissed off earlier today because I thought all my fair Pokemon were gone except for, like, Umbreon, Espeon, and Milotic. I thought all my fair Pokemon were gone. But seeing the Haxorus is back gave me a lot of hope. I might not even use Haxorus, honestly, in the base game because, honestly, there's too many cool new Pokemon that I want to use. So, we're going to have to see how that works out because 
six Pokemons. Now, this is honestly a really tough team for me to build for because a lot of cool Pokemon are returning, but honestly, a lot of the new Pokemon are really dope that I was kind of like... But to be fair, I thought a lot of my favorites were gone as well. Oh, Braviary's back. That's not bad. Cling Cling's back. Shit, gear grind nonsense again. Yeah, I saw I saw earlier that Aegis Slash came back too. So now we got... Oh my god, Aegis Slash is back too. All right. Because I thought he was gone too. I thought they were got. I thought this one was gonna be gone because he was really controversial throughout Gen Six. I'm honestly surprised he's back. Uh, Chandelier's back too. That's pretty dope. A lot of cool Gen Five Pokemon. So I'm good about that. Yeah, <laughs> the Sword and Shield Pokemon is here. By the way. You were you were Grookey, now you're feeling score buddy. I mean, if you want to be part of the Grookey gang, don't don't feel bad. I mean, I'm part of the score bunny gang because here's my problem with Ribaloom. Okay? I have a huge problem with Ribaloom. He's pure fucking grass, and that really fucks him. But I think in terms of campaign it's fine. But you will need to build a team around this guy because he has a lot of weaknesses. I believe it's fire, ice, bug, poison. Flying. There might be one other typing. <laughs> you got a lot of weaknesses if you're using Rillaboom or Rillaboom. If you're using Rillaboom, yeah, you're gonna have some pro. You need to build a team around him, honestly. Which I don't. I think that might be like. See, I didn't like the singular typings, but in terms of like casual and campaign wise, it does force you to actually build a team. Because starters in the last like what, four or five gens now have been kind of soloing Pokemon themselves because they're so strong. So the fact that they kind of toned down the starters this time does make you want to actually build a team around them. And... I mean, yeah, there's not, a, there's not a lot of new water types. I mean, you got your you got your giant snapping turtle. You got your stupid seagull-looking motherfucker. You got your barracuda. I think that's about it, honestly. There's your prehistoric Pokemon. I think there's like only three new water Pokemon. Yeah, there's only th inclu not including Inteleon, three new water Pokemon. But I would say your selection is pretty large. You got a good, and you got damn good water Pokemon in here as well. Again, you got Milotic. Milotic honestly already makes me just think water's still fairly strong. This gen, water is gonna be fucking powerful. This gen, there's not a lot of new ones, but the old ones they bring back are fucking powerful. Yeah, no Swampert, but. Honestly, just the fact my Lota came back is really strong. Uh, Whale Lords are not a great bulky water. Same with Whiskash, but a lot of water ground types came back. So water ground is still a really powerful typing this gen. Hey, Ferrothorn's back too. That's pretty good. <coughs> uh, my throat's so dry from all my excitement. Because I didn't look at this. I just assumed the worst that all my Pokemon were gone, but... A lot less Pokemon were gone than I thought that I like, anyways. It's hard and make it back rip. <laughs> Same with, uh, Swallow shit. Really, Unpheasant, out of all the good normal bird, all, all, out of all the normal flying types. Yeah. Yeah, I, I love the new Apple Pokemon. He's really cool, too. I was honestly going to use him until I saw Dragapult. The fact that he's Ghost Dragon is just the best thing ever. I fucking, uh, I'm in love. Uh, where is Flapple? I like Flapple. I saw Apple and I thought, that's kind of cute. And then I saw Flapple and I went, hey, that might be my dragon type of choice. The problem is, yeah, this replaces Mega Sceptile. And the fact that you now have a choice between attack and uh, defense now is a pretty nice thing, honestly. And I think this is the only, uh, like, choice evolution you have. Because I don't even think Polyworld made it back, either. Where is he? Nope. So, no, so you don't get that choice. Man. Yeah, there's only one Pokemon that you have to get to choose its evolution for. That's pretty crazy. I don't 
don't like Appleton. I don't think it looks really cool, and I don't think a tank being a very weak defensive typing. Dragon and Grass are not very good defensive typings, so that kind of fucks it. Really bad, actually. Ice Beam from Milotic will just straight up kill it. I don't care what its defensive stats are, it will fucking die. No attack investment, guaranteed. This thing will fucking die <laughs> to any Ice Beam or Ice Punch from a fucking Weavile. That thing will fucking kill it. Frostmoth can fucking kill this thing real hard, honestly. <laughs> Actually, Frostmoth's a strip counter to Appleton and Flapple. I really like Frostmoth. The bug types are really fucking good this gen. I'm actually really happy. Bug being my third favorite typing, I'm actually really happy with the bug lineup. It's really good. I don't think I hate a single bug type in here. Senta Scorch is fucking cool. Frostmoth is cool. Orbeetle is really badass looking too. Like, yeah, this is a really good bug lineup. It's small, but they're all all three of them are good. I like them all. God, I love Colossal. He looks so cool. I love Colossal. So, I also really like Copper Goth. Man, this team's going to be so hard to build for. Any other exciting Pokemon I might want to look at first? Before I call it in the night, because I was going to talk about how good Flygon was, but that got ruined the minute I saw Escadrill. Yeah, talk... Toxtricity is really cool. I really like him too. Uh, he's probably going to be a really powerful special attacker. Uh, being really good offensive typings. Being um, electric and poison is really good for him. That poison typing is really going to make him an interesting Pokemon. Because he can both do paralysis and poison. And the fact you have a choice between the two. It really makes him like a deadly force for support too. Like that can make him really terrifying. But I guarantee you whoever like the evil gang is going to be. Or the... You know, the, the the Team Skull or Team Rocka of this gen. Definitely their boss is going to be using that thing. I have no doubt in my mind that's going to be his ace Pokemon. It just looks like the boss's main Pokemon. <laughs> uh, not really catching anything else. Not a mammoth one. I'm not really noticing anything else. Gotha Tell's back. I actually thought Hatterene was a uh, Galarian and Gotha Tell for a while. It just had similar design ideas. Very dress heavy. Malamar's back. Swirl Puff is black too. Uh, really, Rimbombi is back. One of the most disappointing fairy types to be shown off so far is back. Ew. Especially with all the good fairy types that have been introduced so far this gen. Yeah, this thing ain't cutting it. <laughs> I don't know why Rimbombi is here. Why are you here? Salazzle's pretty good. That's I, uh, I wouldn't say it's pretty good. I remember him actually being very disappointing because... You know, look at his stats. He looks fucking great. Fire and poison. That's not bad.
Hang on, he's 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 telling me some shit. Hold on, he's telling me some shit. He's trying to tell me that it's not real. It's it's fucking real. It's already been confirmed. It's the same leaker who got the game a couple days ago. What, Corviknight? Corviknight's fucking awesome. He was my favorite new build. He was my favorite new one. He, he he's arguing with me that oh you picked it up from Polygon. I just picked up the pictures from Polygon. This shit was already confirmed, like last night. It's from the same leaker who got the game early and was actually pointing out a lot of leakers that were wrong. That there was supposed to be a deck that had six hundred and thirty Pokemon. Oh, that shit was a fucking lie. Clay all's back. That's weird. That's a weird one too. A lot of fucking Gen Five Pokemon, man. I, I you know what. I'm gonna give Masuda a fucking hand for all the Gen 5 love he's been given. There's a lot of Gen 5 Pokemon in here that, that got back in here. He must love Gen 5. Gen 5 has some damn good Pokemon. I'm actually really... It's really cool. Let's see here. So far you have... Fire, Poison Electric, Flying and Steel. Uh, you probably need a water type. I can recommend one right here. This is a very good water type. It can learn Ice Beam so you can kill all the Drigans. It's got Scald, so it's going to be fucking good. I highly recommend my Lodic. I will always tell people to use my Lodic. It's, it's such a good water type. It's so underrated because Pokemon like fucking Swampert just made his Pokemon useless. To many people. It was a UU Pokemon for the longest time. It only went down to RU because, again, Suicune just completely destroyed UU's bulky water format. Because I used to use my Lodic in UU with Mega Beedrill back in Gen 6. That shit was fucking clean. I loved using that squad. It was fucking fun to use with, like, um, a couple defensive Pokemon. I like building really offensive teams. So my Lodic also fits in an offensive team as well. Because she has really solid attacks. Stats for Scald and Ice Beam. Solid as hell. And she has recovery. If you're just looking for a bulky water, I highly recommend my Lodic if you don't feel like in using any of the new Pokemon. But Dreadnought's looking nice and bulky, honestly. And the rock typing could really help you. You could also use Dreadnought. It's water rock, which honestly can help your team a little bit. But you'll have... No, you won't have an electricity problem. You have your... um. You have toxicity, so you should be pretty good on that. I don't know. Dreadnought seems like a good choice. He's nice and bulky. He'll uh, support your Cinderace real hard. Except when a grass type pops up, but you know. <laughs> you have a, quite a few. You have quite a few switchings for any grass type that might show up, too. Which honestly won't be very often. Because <laughs> they're just going to die to anything. Dreadnought's looking pretty okay. Really defensive Pokemon. Has a very good defensive typing of rock and water. And you have a good team that can support it. Damn, man. I wish I could recommend Flygon to people this gen, but the fact that Haxorus came back really just... The fact that Haxorus came back just kind of merges it as a dragon type. And the fact that Hex Control came back just kill it as a ground type. Fuck, man. Fuck, but also yay, because those are some really good Pokemon that came back, man. Oh my god. It's crazy. How long have I been streaming for? A fucking hour of just losing my mind over the Pokemon leaks for the last couple days. Oof. I might have to call it, because it's almost 1am for me. Ugh, I'm tired from work today. I need to get some sleep. Man, this is fucking crazy. I might buy Sword and Shield, because honestly, this Dex is actually really good the gen 7 pokemon 
way too many of them being in here is really weak. But they kind of do need to make Pokemon Home useful. So I guess it would make sense they have to bring back at least some Gen 7 Pokemon. But at least bring back some of the fucking good ones. Like, uh, ooh, Greninja's not coming back, rip. Shit, what's a good Gen 7 Pokemon? Yeah, I'm not the biggest fan of Dreadnought either. But it's just an option because it really supports your team. If you're looking for, like, strip team comp. But I would probably say for, like, like, just, just my favorite water Pokemon aesthetically is just Milotic. I just love Milotic so much. You can kind of use any water and get away with it. Crawdon's very good. Crawdon is fucking amazing. He hits like a fucking truck now. Like Aqua Jet, Crab Hammer, Knock Off. But that's for like competitive moveset. You might want to run something else. Crawdon's a very good Pokemon. And judging by your typings... You're kind of weak to fighting types, honestly. That could become an issue. I mean, Corviknight takes normal damage to fighting types. Honestly, you run a ghost type after that. And honestly, Cursula looking... Cursula? Oh my god, I have to look at Cursula again. I love it so much. Oh, it's so terrifying. I love it. I, it gives me chills. This is the scariest Pokemon I think I've ever seen, honestly. It's so scary looking. I love it. It gives me chills down my... Shakety little spine. I love it. <laughs> oh, I love it. I love it. It's 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 really cool. Honestly, it's really dope. At least my favorite like new form for old Pokemon. This is definitely my favorite one because honestly, Alone and Marowak was cool and I like the fire ghost thing. But if I'm being a hundred percent honest. This has been my favorite, like, new form of an old Pokemon. Easily. Hands hands the fuck down. It's Cursula. Galarian Cursula and Cursula are so... <clears throat> are so fucking cool. They're, they're just the coolest. But I gotta still give the Dragon Pole, man. This guy is so fucking dope looking. Dragon Ghost. Dragon fucking Ghost, man. Oh, I'm so... Oh, I love Dragapult, man. He's just so cool. Finally, my two favorite typings. My two favorite typings finally come back together. And this time in a Pokemon that's not a goddamn legendary. I'm so happy to see this. And he looks cool. It's fucking Galaxy Tomahawk from Yu-Gi-Oh. No wonder he got banned. He became a Pokemon. No wonder. It wasn't, become, it wasn't because of his token generation nonsense. No. It's because he was going to be a Pokemon. Of course, Konami. That's why they, That's why Konami banned him. Who wouldn't use it? It's a, look at its shit-eating grin. And the fact that it shoots out little dreepies is the best. <laughs> Honestly, my team is really weak to Dark and Ghost. So I might have to use something like Grim's... Grim's not, Grim's not over here? Grimmsnarl is actually really good, and I might actually use it on my team because it really supports my team. I have a lot of ghost types. Once a fucking again, lots of ghost types, lots of dragon types. So Cinderace and Grimmsnarl here are gonna just basically be support <laughs> to help to help whenever I'm running into any problems because I had the same problems last year and I didn't have any counters for any of the incoming issues. Honestly, this has been my favorite fairy type they've shown off so far. Uh, my very fairy type before then was Clefable, because I just liked Clefable back in the day. Really solid wall Pokemon when I didn't feel like using Blissey. But Grimstar over here is looking really good for any dragon and ghost users out here. It's looking like a real damn good support mon. It can cover your ass real hard. It's a damn good typing. Dark and fairy. That's amazing. That's a goddamn good typing. And it stays dark and fairy throughout its evolution, which makes it even better. This is honestly a fucking great Pokemon. I don't know. <sighs> Maybe I'll use Roly Coly and Colossal until I start getting my late game Pokemon. Because we're probably not getting Dragapult till super late in the game. And I might need some filler mons to hold me in. Because the, the game might get really hard before I have a chance to like set myself straight. I've had issues in the past where I just have to use... 
like Gen Five, that was a fucking problem because a lot of my favorite Pokemon in Gen Five, which might, which was honestly my only problem in Gen Five, was that a lot of my favorite Pokemon did not show up till the later half of the game. So I had to stick with an entirely like temporary team, and that shit was really annoying. That shit was absolutely frustrating to deal with, which was my only problem with Black and White too. Like I had to wait a long time to get like Zangus, uh, Bisharp, Haxorus. Volcarona, honestly, that team was so late game built, it was, like, ridiculous. There was so much grinding in Gen 5 for me, just because I had to basically train two teams. I don't want that shit happening again, but I also don't want the same shit that happened to me in Gen 7, where I just had too many weaknesses of two typings. Being way too weak to Dark and Ghost. <laughs> I had way too many fucking Ghost types on my team. I had, like, way too many Ghost and Psychic types. I mean, who knows how many old Pokemon you'll be able to find before then. To be fair, they've made it seem like Xenoblade, where you can kind of just run into, like, a lot of good Pokemon early on. So we'll have to see how that goes. Because they're building, like, Xenoblade, which... That's kind of my only criticism of Xenoblade, is the level diversity can kind of be an issue. At least for X, it was even worse. Oh my god. X is leveled, like, Xenoblade... X's level diversity really pissed me off because you would have to you would go down the path of the early game areas to get to the first couple chapters and then you run into like level 30 enemies and you're like level fucking 5 that shit was trash I don't want that level of shit happening in Pokemon that fucking shit would annoy me to hell and back randomly running into like a level 47 fucking monster and I'm out here with my fucking, like, level 5 score buddy and just beat my rival and left the town. Fuck that shit. That shit would hell annoy me. But they also, I think they also got rid of random encounters. So, they make it a lot more... Oh god, what's that game called? Uh, there's a game that's like that. I think they made it a lot more like Digimon. Did Digimon do th did the new Digimon games do that? Where you just run into the... Th things you want to fight or was it also random encounter based where you just randomly ran into stuff i don't remember there, there was an rpg there was an rpg series i was playing a while ago that did that i guess xenoblade again could be an analogy but that's more action based and not uh open not uh world map based uh, i think maybe 13 the 13 2 yeah i'm thinking of like final fantasy 13 2 that's what i'm thinking of like immediately and final fantasy 12 i guess like, some of the later Final Fantasies. Yeah, the wild areas are going to have that. To where you can just... Where you can see the Pokemon running around and you can choose the fight or not. But I don't know if those motherfuckers come after you. <laughs> like, you're just walking around. You're just level fucking 7 score bunny. I just learned Ember. You're just walking through the forest having a diddly old day. I'm going to catch me some Pokemon. What the fuck? There's a Tyranitar over there. It's looking like it's about to rape my asshole. What the fuck do I do? Your ass is going back to the Pokemon Center to loon some money on the way. That's what's going to happen to you. You're going <laughs> to get your ass whooped. So I hope that shit don't happen. It probably will. And I'll probably laugh at people. Or it might happen to me. And I'll just be very upset and sad. So I'm going to probably lose 300 fucking dollars. For accidentally running into a Tyranitar because his ass was chasing me and he was faster than me because I didn't get my running shoes yet. That son of a bitch. Ugh. Ugh. Oh man, it's almost been an hour and a half. I think I'm done. <laughs> I think I've just about had it. Yeah. Stretch. Squeaky chair, stretch. Alright, I'm out of here. I'm going to go to bed and see if I failed my ma my math test or not. See if I failed my fucking stats test or not. Ugh, I'm out of here. Mm.